According to American writer and lecturer Dale Carnegie, most of the important things in the world have been accomplished by people who have kept on trying when there seemed to be no hope at all. Once again, we are gathered today to celebrate and recognize the students who have shown in that passion and firm dedication towards their studies, resulting to their invaluable success. To formally start the occasion with pride and honor, let us all sing our Philippine National Anthem. celebration will never be possible without our almighty creator let us all lift our spirits and ask for his guidance through an opening prayer to be led by ryan marie p davis let us bow our heads and feel the presence of the lord in the name of the father the son the holy spirit amen almighty father in heaven we honor and praise your most holy name. We thank you for we are once again gathered in this place to reap the fruits of our harvest. Dear Father, thank you for guiding us in our studies. May you please continue to be with us as we search and acquire wisdom through this institution. We pray for our teachers and parents who patiently mold us to become better individuals. Kindly continue to give them the talent and the best of health so they could be able to continue doing their life's purpose. Dear God, as we assemble today, we thank you for all the times you have helped and inspired us in our studies. In times when we truly need your help, we felt your loving mercy. Indeed, you never abandoned your children. In return, we promise to you that we will use these gifts all for the glory of your most holy name. We ask all of this through our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Aristotle once said, The roots of education are bitter, but the fruit is sweet. That's why this is a rejoicing day, for it marks the conclusion of our educational journey, which results to the sweetest fruit of our success. We should be thankful on behalf of those people who were instrumental throughout this time. To the Board of Trustees, headed by Mr. Jonathan P. De La Cruz, to our school principal, Mrs. Margarita J. Mercado, to the heads of the different departments, Ms. Christine Joy E. Bautista, Ms. Nympha D. C. Vicente, and Mr. Alvin G. Salamat. To our guest speaker, to our dear faculty and staff, parents, friends, and to my fellow completers, a victorious day to all of us. Those who are struggling in a storm can often have a chance to soar above sunshine with the help of an excellent vision, strength, and power. The Easy Cut Eagles are rising above challenges. To begin with, here is Trisha Sibrihino to give her words of welcome. To our guests, to the Board of Directors headed by Mr. Jonathan P. De La Cruz, to our school principal, 
Mrs. Margarita J. Mercado, to our department heads, members of the faculty, staff, parents, friends, and fellow completers, a glorious day to all of us. This school year seems like a roller coaster ride to us. We go through many transitions, not only as we pass through one level to another, but also on how we adapt in the new learning modality that we are experiencing because of the pandemic. Our batch have went through online learning, even though we are more used to doing face-to-face -face classes. This type of learning system challenges our perspectives and minds to learn at home. At first, we had a hard time trying to adapt to the new way of learning. There are many distractions and struggles along the way. But looking at where we are now, indeed, we are able to manage and cope with the changing times. Our theme, Easy Cat Eagles Rising Above Challenges, reminds us to turn our I can't to I can. As the saying goes, you are confined only by the walls you build yourself. Endeavor to settle on the best choice when confronted with difficulties and utilize our assets to provide strategies to different circumstances. Looking back, despite of the challenges we have encountered, we still manage to pull through. This teaches us one of the important lessons in life, that whenever we are in deep anguish, we can manage to survive. Let us not fear what anticipates us. Allow us generally to be idealistic about what's to come. Trust and show the best in you. You don't need to fear what you are. Embrace change as a typical pattern of presence. In behalf of my fellow completers, this school year 2020 to 2021, it is my pleasure to welcome you all to our visual completion ceremony. This is the start of our chance to venture upon a higher development level, an opportunity to show the best in us. The odds may or may not be in our favor, but one thing is certain. We will rise above any challenges that may come our way because we are eagles. We live to soar. May the years to come be kind to all of us and may God and his wisdom bless us with success. Thank you and congratulations to all of us. Thank you very much for that inspiring message. A most valuable addition, your kind words truly warmed our heart and gave us a new sense of pride. At this point, let me introduce to you our guest speaker for today's celebration. Our guest of honor and speaker today is an alumna of this school and member of the graduating class of 2008. Just like most of you, she was just as simple and average student, but at a young age, she already knew what she wanted to become. Guided by her dream, she flapped her wings and took up Bachelor of Science in Medical Technology at the Far Eastern University in Manila, where she graduated in 2012. On the same year, she took and passed the licensure examination for medical technologies. In October 2012 to March 2015, she started working as a medical technologist and drug test analysis at BA Diagnostic and Clinical Laboratory in Bulacan. With her determination to soar higher, she continued her further studies and enrolled Doctor of Medicine at Our Lady of Fatima University in Manila, where she graduated in 2019. After graduation, she worked as rotating clinical intern at the Armed Forces of the Philippines Health Service Command in Quezon City. From July 2019 to June 30, 2020, Despite of the declaration of the Enhanced Community Quarantine by the President Rodrigo Duterte, due to the pandemic brought by COVID-19, which started on March 2020, she took and passed the licensure examination for positions in November 2020. 
She is currently one of the medical frontliners of Dr. Jose N. Rodriguez Memorial Hospital and Sanitario. Aside from being a medical officer, she is also a member of Ulfu College of Medicine Medical Students Assembly since 2015 and of the Braveheart Medical Mission Group since 2017. Without much ado, may I call in Dr. Regina Joyce P. Joaquin for her inspirational speech. To the Board of Trustees, to Mrs. Margarita J. Mercado, Principal, to the teaching and non-teaching staff, to all the parents, all the graduating students, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant day to everyone. I am Regina Joyce P. Joaquin, Medical Frontliner, an ECAT alumna, Batch 2008. It came as a big surprise for me and my family to have been invited as a guest of honor and speaker for this momentous event. Having been considered to be one is such an honor for me and indeed a welcome surprise. My formative years was memorably spent within the walls and grounds of this learning institution. While it is a fact that it is every student's longing to be among the top of their class, my former teachers and classmates could attest to the fact that I have never been one. I was an average student and I never felt inferior to be one. I have too much respect and admiration to all the honor students for giving their best. You truly deserve all the accolades. Congratulations. Feel proud. You truly deserve it. And share it with your parents whose love and support are always with you throughout your journey without fail. Same goes to all students who consider themselves quote-unquote ordinary, like myself and their parents. I have the same respect and admiration, for you all strive to give the best of what you've got. Congratulations! This year's theme, Easy Cat Eagles Rising Above Challenges, is definitely most relevant and relatable in the global situation we are currently experiencing for more than a year now. In this rare opportunity, allow me to share with you my thoughts and experiences of how far I cope up with the challenges on a personal level. Political leader and philanthropist Nelson Mandela in one of his famous speech said, quote unquote, everyone can rise above their circumstances and achieve success if they are dedicated to and passionate about what they do. That passage becomes true for me as I strive to follow my ardent wish to be a medical doctor. In my younger years, my family never imagined that I will ever be a doctor for the basic reason that I hate seeing blood. I was told that there was an instance that I almost fainted when I saw blood dripping from my little finger when I accidentally cut myself. Ironically, in my teens, I became fascinated to the medical world and the secret longing to belong to that world slowly stepped in. When I graduated from high school, I took up medical technology, not because I really wanted it, but only because it's a way for me to be within the range of my future target. I passed the medical technology sport examination and was hired by a private laboratory, earning my own money for almost two years. But still, the yearning to follow my childhood dream becomes clearer. However, the high financial cost to go to medical school is a challenge that is more pronounced because that time, my sister was already entering college. As a prudent choice, my dream has to take back seat temporarily. Behind every winner is a dreamer who never gives up. There is stumbling blocks on the way forward, but those are mere obstacles that we have the power to overcome if we keep on trying. To make the long story short, I made it through the medical school and earned my degree as doctor of medicine through hard work, determination, patience, and long hours of sleepless nights. Those uncomfortable feelings and experiences are just the tip of the iceberg, most especially when COVID-19 developed into a worldwide pandemic. I was completing my medical internship at the Viluna Medical Center in Quezon City when the government declared community quarantine. 
Everyone was frightened and apprehensive of the unknown and deadly virus. We all felt threatened and we abruptly adopted the new normal. We reluctantly adjusted to the changes and was forced to accept the huge challenges that has obstructed our normal ways of life, our dreams, our future. Reviewing for the physician licensure examinations become one of the most frustrating difficulty I have to endure to position myself a step forward in achieving my childhood dream. Because of the pandemic, face-to-face -face classes were suspended, including that of the review courses. Everything has to be online. I know that all of you will agree with me how hard it was in the beginning and it causes us all unspeakable anxiety. There was a lot of pressure to the point that I wanted to give up. But I know that I have my family support and trust. I cannot fail them. I will not give up on my dream. The board examination was originally scheduled in September 2020 but was postponed until November. Another challenging setback, but then again, temporary. I finally tasted the sweet fruit of achieving my dream when the results came last November 26, 2020. I am now a medical doctor, serving my fellow human being in the best way I can. I have found my purpose. I look at myself now, think back to how I was when I was of the same age with you today. I am pretty much sure that you all have your own dreams in your young hearts and minds. What you have achieved today, in spite of the challenges brought about by the pandemic, is one sturdy block that will serve as a foundation for the future, your future. You still have a long, long way to go. Your dreams and ambitions will change as you become mature. It is important to remember that everything you are going to accomplish in life, no matter how simple or grand, will come from your determination. Do not surrender when circumstances get unbearable. The ability to stay committed to your goal is one of the main things that helps you grow as a person. I believe you all have that in you. You are all easy cat eagles, ready to soar high and rise above all the challenges. I should know. I was once an easy cat eagle myself, and I am definitely proud to be one. Again, congratulations, class of 2021, and may God continue to bless us and keep us all safe. Thank you very much, Dr. Regina. At this point, let me present to you the Certificate of Appreciation to be awarded to our guest speaker for today's celebration. This Certificate of Appreciation is hereby given to Dr. Regina Joyce A. Joaquin, in deep gratitude for sharing selflessly her well-rounded knowledge and time-tested expertise and experiences and for providing inspiring impetus on the celebration of the completion ceremonies of the Junior High School Department as guest speaker, expounding on the theme, Easy Cut Eagles Rising Above Challenges, held on April 29, 2021 at Early Christian College of Arts and Technology located at R. Mercado Street, Makaiban Poblacion, Santa Maria, Bulacan, given this 29th day of April 2021. Signed by Mrs. Margarita J. Mercado, our school principal, and Attorney Jonathan P. De La Cruz, the President of the Board of Directors. Thank you very much for giving us a very meaningful message. At this moment, May I call on Dr. Hilda Ardevera and Mrs. Margarita J. Mercado for the presentation and confirmation of the candidates for completion. To our honored Vice President of the Board of Directors, it is my distinct honor and a great privilege to present to you our candidates for completion for this school year 2020-2021. The completing classes consist of 96 boys and 110 girls. They have satisfactorily completed all the requirements of the junior high school curriculum as prescribed by the school and the Department of Education. We intentionally gather them here to receive the confirmation of their completion.
because you have satisfactorily completed all the requirements of the junior high school curriculum as prescribed by the Department of Education and this school, I, Dr. Hilda R. De Vera, Vice President of the Board of Directors of Early Christian College of Arts and Technology, do hereby confirm your completion, and I am now declaring you completers. My warm congratulations. the fruits of our harvest. Let us now proceed with the awarding of certificates and medals to the students who demonstrate excellence in different fields. This will be awarded by the advisors of the respective sections. A pleasant day to all of us. It is my honor to present to you the completers for school year 2020-2021. Starting off with Grade 10 Edison, Balbuena Ken Daniel L. Constantino Ian Nathaniel M. Cruz Janil Franco R. Cruz wins K. Dafun William Paulo DV. Devera Mark Leogin C. Depla Ivan Justin P. Desierto, Ryan Joshua F. Francisco Tyrone G. Gole Cruz, Daryl Cedric J. Gonzalez, Joshua Aaron F. Hippolito Gabriel D.B. Hippolito Harold A. 
Jacinto Siegfried John Yu Manglanlan Lian Aldrin S. Manuel Brian Angelo C. Marcos Edrich B. Mendoza, Brian James B. Reyes, Hans Michael D.C. Santos Elmoray M. Sonar James Aldrin P. Victorero Justin Ace E. Busotros Raymart N. Alonzo Candy A. Anzon Michelle Marie B. Cristobal Anna Lorraine G. Delin Diana Gabriel S. Evangelista Angel Grace E. Francia Rea May R. Galvez Juliana Gabriel M. Trabador Danica Elijah F.
Tiaguno Ana Victoria P. Madrazo Agatha Joy B. Maliari Ella Joanna C. Maningas Chelsea and Sharina L. Mendoza Alicia DJ Naron Claire Kyla D Artuzar Lacey Gale S. Panlilio Cecilia Bianca. Perez Micaela O. Quintero Maria Sofia Isabel O. Rumaraog, Amy Nicole A. Sanchez, Yesha Angelica C. Santos Mikaela Regine M. Tagolgol Osel M. Torno Micaela Chamel S. Untalan Alia Trisha May M. Bahe Janelin DC Valeriano Janel Riza D
Valeros Diana May J. Villarreal, Margaret Yesha H. And those are the completers from 10 Edison under the supervision of Mr. Daniel M. Ramos. To continue, let us have the completers from Grade 10 Einstein. Agapito Ace John M. Antonio John Derrick Glenn C. Arevalo Reginald Gian R. Bartolome Ivan V. Bernardo Romulo III P. Calado Hanjo L. De Guzman Cesar Jr. D.C. De Matera Bon Carlo M. De La Cruz Rainier Allen C. The Manlig Lian Paul R. Domingo John Andre L. Enriquez Tristan C. Galliardo Earl Dwight U. Garcia Emil Yancy S.
Gonzalbo John Axel G. Losendo Ken Andre L. Mendoza Vincent Daniel G. Mila Raymark Mondero Lance Dexter P. Ortasho Justin B. Policarpio Franco Luis F. Putoy Ben Justin DC Salamat Armando the third P Baliedo, Patima, Cassandra, B. Brigino, Trisha, C. Candor Rochelle P. Contesido Maxine Rizel B. Cruz Lorene O. Cruz Roshane Joan G. De Guzman and Princess C. De Leon Leon Jade P.
De La Torre Justin May A. Flores Julian C. Gonzaga Chloe Anil DL. Grabador Riza P. Gregorio Alexis Antonet DB. Halili JN Richelle DR Ignacio Samantha Nicole D Jose Vanessa Daniel T. Lapig Christipani E. Laksamana Ayi Ayesha P. Mangubat Pia Micaela B. Maranyo Ashley Nicole T. Mateo Brianna Frances M. Morelos Yasmin S. Napoles Crystal Marie Gail S. A. Ong Akisha Jasmine M. Resurrection Jen Liel I. Mm -hmm. 
Reyes and Patrice T. Reyes Chris Justin B. Rivera Hannah Pearl C. And that wraps up the completers from Grayton Einstein under the supervision of Mr. Mumar B. Bordoy. A victorious day to everyone. It is my pleasure to present to you the completers for school year 2020 to 2021. Let's start with Grade 10 Galilee. Batak Francis Albert L. Billiante Junior Del Mar C. Cornejo Rico Ferdinand M. Cruz Luis Rafael S. Dapat Dariel R. Del Rosario Emanuel O. Divina Moises Luis S. Evangelista Aerol C. Flores John Adams L. Jeronimo Mike Gerald C. Gregorio Kyle Andre M. Inocencio Kurt Angelo V. Makaskas James Benedict C.
Merabete CJB. Merilo Jan Joseph G. Paelmao Jan Paul J. Porsyong Kula, Kevin F. Ramos, Jeremy Paul F. Sagusho Wendell A. Salazar Lemor Rafael R. Santos Russell James P. Teodoro James Albert O. Ball Kyle Arkin J. Valera Greg Angelo B. Villar Earl Justin Alcantara Joanna Maris P Bravante Reina Arabella B. Castillo Christine Claire D. Corporal Ashley Faith R. Crucilio Aleja Jones V.
Datiles Christine Joy M. De La Cruz, Amanda Sofia D.C. Francisco Frances Rial C. Glorioso Jana Mitzi V. Lorenzo Lenny Nicole B. Matias Martina Francesca T. Montilla Katrina Tanya M. Miserio Trinity Angeline P. Padilio Queenie Claudette. Policarpio Felicity Estelle A. Kinawayan Kirsten C. Sabas Daniel Luis Savin Wall. Sakweza Mary Christine N. Sagaw Ira Rose F. Samson Alia Mariel DC San Jose Frances Lorraine C Santillan Daphne Jane L. 
Soriano Nikaila DC Tanegra Kiel Francine B. Telingban Alexandria Janasha L. Umali Lorene Fay S.A. And Vito Lovely Milays V. And those are the completers from Penn Galilee under the supervision of Miss Marlene B. Batulano. To continue, let's have Grade 10 Newton. Adorador Richmond Frank C. Alcantara Mark Gabriel P. Aquino Arstin Daniel D. Bonifacio Zinji Kaiser A. Bronjal Rashid John E. Kao Mark Rainier L. Kariaga Rimwell Ian O. David Ben Bercy De Dios Joshua J De La Cruz Brave Y. Diaz Jr. Joel G.
Dolosa John Patrick R. Encinas Wesley J. Enriquez Aaron Jude T. Fabian Mark Raniel M. Galang Mark Adrian M. Garcia Carl Angelo A. Ignacio Carmelo Anthony B. Ligit John Mark A. Jan Paolo G. Parocha Mark Jomel D. Renales Jr. Marino L. San Roque Shane Justin I. Serapio Kirk Jesus Albert L. Vicente John Paul E. Juliana Patrice S. Baral Eilish U. Boromeo Yanina Keira V. Kaluya Jeka G.
Kapili Maria Christianel T. Condesido Francesca Chinil B. Cristobal Chantal Faith V. Davis Ryan Marie P. De Jesus Daniela J. De Jesus Rica S. De Vera Guian Zopia P. De La Cruz, Gabriel A. De La Cruz, Journalin H. Gabagat Ruby Jean L. Glorioso Rea Margarita A. Gonzales Gian Iris D. Halili Danaya P. Inocencio Diana Ashley T. Laja Dana Luis L. Luis Micaela Jean T. Manibay Bernadette S. Polintan Maria Sandara B.
Ramos John Denise J. Rehano Raisa May A. Reyes Princess Nina M. San Agustin Alia Nicole N. And San Juan Arlene E. There you have it, the computers from 10 Newton under the supervision of Miss Angelette Celestino. Congratulations to all the computers and to our dear parents as well. Good day. It is my distinct honor to present to you the awardees from grade 10 level, starting off with Loyalty Awards. Silver Medalist, John Patrick R. Dolosa, Ian Nathaniel M. Constantino, Danica Elijah F. Grabador, Jen Liel I. Resurrection, Janeline D.C. Bahe. For our gold medalist, Delmar C. Villante Jr., Maria Christianel T. Capili, Maxine Rizel B. Condesido, Chantal Faith B. Cristobal, Janil Franco R. Cruz, Ryan Marie F. Davis, Daniela J. De Jesus, Guillan Zapia P. De Vera, Tristan C. Enriquez, Earl Dwight Hugh Galliardo, Carl Angelo A. Garcia, Chloe Anil D. L. Gonzaga, Kurt Angelo B. Innocencio, John Mark A. Leggett, Lenny Nicole B. Lorenzo, John Paulo G. Luna, Martina Francesca T. Matias, Alicia DJ Mendoza, Katrina Tania M. Montilla, Franco Luis F. Folicarpio, Mary Christine N. Sacueza, Alia Mariel D.C. Samson, Shane Justin I. San Roque, Yesha Angelica C. Sanchez, Daphne Jane L. Santillan, Kiel Francine B. Taniegra, and James Albert O. Teodoro. Let us now proceed to the awarding of students who excel in Scholastic. Starting off with Highest Lexile Growth Award from 10 Edison, we have Alicia DJ Mendoza. The student who got the Highest Lexile Award from 10 Einstein, Roshane Joan G. Cruz. And for our Star Reader Award, we have from 10 Galilee, Trinity Angeline P. Niserio. It is my privilege to present to you the academic achievers for the school year 2020 2021. 
starting up with Grade 10 Edison. Ian Nathaniel M. Constantino. Anna Lorraine G. Cristobal. Wins K. Cruz. William Paulo D.V. Dafu. Mark Leogin C. Debera. Liana Gabriel S. Delin. Juliana Gabriel M. Galvez. Danica Elijah F. Grabador. Gabriel D. Hippolito. Siegfried John U. Jacinto. Anna Victoria P. Liaguno. Agatha Joy B. Madrazo. Ella Johanna C. Maliari. Lian Aldrin S. Manglanlan. Brian Angelo C. Manuel. Edrich B. Marcos. He is also a recipient of Outstanding Performance Award for Mathematics. Alicia DJ Mendoza. Brian James B. Mendoza. Claire Kyla D. Naron. Glacy Gail S. Ortuzar. Micaela O. Perez. She is also a recipient of Outstanding Performance Award in Communication Arts. Maria Sofia Isabel O. Quintero. Amy Nicole A. Romarao. Micaela Shamel S. Torno. Alia Trisha May M. Untalan. Janeline D.C. Bahe. Janelle Riza D. Valeriano. Diana May J. Valeros. And for grade 10 Einstein, John Derek Glenn C. Antonio. Fatima Cassandra B. Baliedo. Trisha C. Brihino. She is also a recipient of Outstanding Performance Award in Science. Rochelle P. Candor. Maxine Rizel B. Condesido. Loreen O. Cruz. Roshane Joan G. Cruz. Cesar D.C. De Guzman Jr. Leon Jade P. De Leon. Bon Carlo M. De Matera. Rainier Alan C. De La Cruz. He is also a recipient of Outstanding Performance Award 
in Arts. Tristan C. Enriquez. Julian C. Flores. Earl Dwight Hugh Galliardo. Amiel Yancy S. Garcia. Chloe Anil D.L. Gonzaga. Samantha Nicole D. Ignacio. Ken Andre L. Losendo. Pia Micaela B. Mangubat. Ashley Nicole T. Maranio. Brianna Frances M. Mateo. Crystal Marie Gail S. A. Napoles. Ben Justin D.C. Putoy Jen Liel I. Resurrection Chris Justin B. Reyes Hannah Pearl C. Rivera To continue let us have the academic achievers from Grade 10 Galilee. Starting off with Joanna Maris P. Alcantara Francis Albert L. Batak Delmar C. Billiante Jr. Reina Arabella B. Bravante Christine Claire D. Castillo Aleja Jones V. Crucilio Luis Rafael S. Cruz Christine Joy M. Datiles Amanda Sofia D.C. De La Cruz Frances Rial C. Francisco Mike Gerald C. Jerónimo Jana Mitzi V. Glorioso Kurt Angelo V. Innocencio Martina Francesca T. Machas Katrina Tanya M. Montilla Trinity Angeline P. Niserio Queenie Claudette Padillo Kevin F. Forshunkula Mary Christine N. Sacueza Lemor Rafael Salazar Alia Mariel D.C. Samson Frances Lorraine C. San Jose Russell James P. Santos Kiel Francine B. Tanegra Alexandria Janasha Talingban James Albert O. Teodoro 
and Greg Angelo B. Valera. From Great Ten Newton, we have Juliana Patrice S. Angeles. Arstin Daniel D. Aquino. Eilish U. Baral. Rashid Jan E. Bronjal. Maria Krishanel T. Kapili. Rimrel Ian O. Cariaga. Francesca Shinil B. Condesido. Chantal Faith V. Cristobal. She is also the recipient for the Outstanding Performance Award for Social Science. Ryan Marie P. Davis. Rika S. De Jesus. Gian Zopia P. De Vera. Gabriel A. De La Cruz. Journaline H. De La Cruz. Mark Raniel M. Fabian. Ruby Jean L. Gabagat. Carl Angelo A. Garcia. Gian Iris D. Gonzalez. Dana Luis L. Laja. Mikaela Jean T. Luis. Jan Paulo G. Luna. Mark Jomel D. Parocha. Maria Sandara B. Polintan. Raiza May A. Rejano. Princess Nina M. Reyes. Alia Nicole N. San Agustin. And Arlene E. San Juan. Congratulations to our dear awardees and to our beloved parents as well. Congratulations, fellow awardees, and to our dear parents as well for this significant accomplishment. The long wait is over. Our stepping stone reflects the courage, determination, and hard work after earning this victory that is woven together so skillfully. To deliver his word of gratitude, may I call on Rainier Alan C. De La Cruz. To our guests, to the board of directors headed by its president, Mr. Jonathan P. De La Cruz, to our school principal, to our department heads, teachers, staff, loving parents, friends, and to my fellow completers. A victorious day to each and every one of us. It is truly a milestone that we have reached this kind of achievement. Time flies by so fast that not all of us has processed and have been prepared in this certain part of our lives. We, of all people, are well aware that this school year was one roller coaster ride. But this did not stop us from achieving and surviving this with nothing but pure determination despite our dreadful situation. We were so clueless back then when we started becoming high schoolers in the year 2017. But now, 
we have surpassed the unknown with knowledge, skills, and values to continue fulfilling our dreams. This completion can just be simply defined as the end and beginning of chapters. But we know that it's more than that. This remarkable chapter of our lives gave us teachers, parents, family, and friends who guided us constantly along the way, where we carved the path of our destiny that will eventually lead us to victory. We work hard to get to this point, but we didn't do it by ourselves. We owe this to the ever understanding and caring people in our lives. To our dearest teachers, one cannot express how much you did to help us in times like these. The time and effort and persistence that you embody to teach us. These may be simple words, but all of the people I know, I'm certain that we would have never done it without you. You have given us the guidance and wisdom for us to become wiser and stronger. To our beloved parents and families, we will never forget the sacrifice you have made. You have given us the strength and courage to finish what we have started. We know that you have worked hard just to support our needs. As you stand right now, we give to you this honor that we have received. We hope that even in the slightest, we have made you proud. Your sacrifices were not in vain, and as a result of the constant guidance and reminders you have ingrained in us. To my fellow classmates, bashmates, and friends, our journey has been through ups and downs, laughter and hardships. Many of us really thought we were going to have the same last years, that it's going to be our final year full of choice events, meeting everyone in person, having a classroom setting, even having a prom, and every other opportunity that we have missed because of this pandemic. That is why the time we've spent in this school is honestly a blessing. Though it is our closing chapter, I hope that all of us remain as close companions whatever path we'll take in the future. To our alma mater, thank you for becoming our home over the past years. We are truly grateful and appreciative of those efforts. And lastly, to our God Almighty, we have never have been here if not because of your guidance and blessing that is bestowed upon us. We're thankful that you are beside us conquering and raising us from challenges and difficulties. Concluding the speech is painfully difficult as we are now coming to an end. It is inevitable, but we are now close to a new academic year. A new road that now led to changes in our lives. A new journey where we discover and achieve things that is closer to our respective paths and dreams. It will always be an honor and happiness to be with you all. I'm proud to say that I am part of the class 2020 and 2021. Thank you and congratulations to all of us. Thank you very much for your enlightening speech. Your words will definitely guide everyone as we thread a new path in life. May your message motivate our fellow completers to strive harder on their respective journeys. Moving forward to lead us in our Pledge of Loyalty, let me call on Earl Dwight U. Galliardo. Let us raise our right hand to take the oath. We, the completers of Early Christian College of Arts and Technology, promise to uphold the dignity honor, and prestige of the institution. We will carry on the wisdom and values taught to us to become worthy members of our family, stewards of our environment, and active builders of our community. We will defend the rights and privileges of the school as true sons and daughters of our alma mater. So help us God. At this juncture, let us have the induction of the junior high school completers to the EasyCat Alumni Association to be headed by Ms. Michelle C. Lorenzo and the Batch President, Chantal Faith V. Cristobal.
By the virtue of your completion from this school, you will be automatically become members of EasyCAT Alumni Association. May I request the completers to raise your right hand up to your shoulder as you recite the pledge of the association. I, a completer of Early Christian College of Arts and Technology Incorporated, promise to be an active member of EasyCAT Alumni Association. I will always attend general meetings for reunions, and I will also participate on all the activities undertaken by the association. I will make sure that my actions, as well as my character, will contribute to the good name of the school and also to the association. So help me God. At this point, may I call the batch president to receive the streamer that will be used in your first reunion. I, Chantal Faith V. Cristobal, the Batch President of the Junior High School Department, promised to spearhead the comeback of Batch 2020 to 2021 to our dear alma mater on December 30, in the year 2031 for our first alumni homecoming. We also promised that all the lessons and the values that had been inculcated to us by this school and also our teachers will never be forgotten. We promise to return successful by proving ourselves to our chosen career and professions. Also, we will never stop giving glory to the Lord Almighty that comes before us and to our dear alma mater that has been with us since the beginning of our journey. Thank you, Ms. Chantal Pate B. Cristobal, and also my deepest thanks to you, dear completers, once again, congratulations to all of you and may the glory of God will always be with you. It is bound to have a lot of tears to remember because there are no words that could capture our gratitude towards them. Acknowledging their unconditional love and limitless sacrifices, let us all listen to this beautiful tribute song dedicated to our beloved parents. Simula sa aking pagkamulat sa malawak na mundong ibabagtas. Sa kadiliman at kalaliman, maaari akong madulas. Walang katiyakan sa malubak na daang tatahakin. Ama at ina, salamat sa pagmamahal, aruga at gabay na ipinabaon niyo sa akin. Sa mundong puno ng kadiliman at karasan, pamilya na lamang ang ating maaasahan. Tayo'y pinatatatag at pinagtitibay upang tayo'y makalaban sa lahat ng dagok ng ating buhay. Kayo ang magsisilbing ningning sa kadiliman, amat inakong aking hinahangaan. Ibinulong niyo sa akin ang gabay papuntang kapayapaan, pagmamahal sa inyong mga mata aking napagmasdan. Ina, maraming salamat. Pagmamahal mo ay nalisapan. Sa pag-upang maramdaman namin, may masasanggalan kami balikan, kung sakaling iwan lang kami ng lahat. Ikaw na ang diway nagbibigay buhay. Walang hanggang pasasalamat aking iaalay. At ang mga alaalang wagas at dalisay sa aking mga magulang na mamahalin ko habang buhay. 
Ako'y tinuuan ng magandang asa. Sa gitna ng kahirapan, ako'y pinagkala upang hindi maparuwara ang aking diplomang natatanggap sa inyo'y inaayon. Unang subungan ng pagkain, nasa isipan ko na. Mag-aalala kapag gitna na ng dilim, wala pa rin ako. Kapag kinagagalitan, alam kong iniisip mo lang ang kapakanan ko. Pumakay sa pagtatrabaho para maibigay ang nais ko. Simula puno't dulo, ikaw ang tanging kaagapay. Pilit iginapang gamit ang iyong pagal na mga kamay. Kaya naman, sa iyong ngayoy iginagawad ang isang pagpupugay. Salamat sa pagiging tanglaw mo hanggang sa makamit ko na ang tunay na kislap ng tagumpay. Mula sa pagmulat ng aking mga mata hanggang sa unang hakbang ng aking mga paha. Mga sakripisyo at kalinga patungo sa aking pangarap. Bahag ng inyong aral bilang pagpuri at parangal. Walang sawang pasasalamat sa inyong pagmamahal. Simula sa pagmulat ng aking mga mata hanggang sa pagtapak ng aking mga paa, akin ang nalamdaman ng kanilang kalinga at aruga na siyang humubog sa aking damdamin at tiwa. Silang nagbibigay ng lakas at sigla sa mga panahong ramdam mong wala ng pag-asa. Sila ang ating mga magulang na alay ang pag-ibig ng wagas at takila. Dala na ko itong daan. Balat niyo kong ulitin. Mawawala ng pandinitin. Ihina ang tuhod. Nadala ko ang mga mata. Mawawala ng memorya. Pero ang pagmamahal ko sa inyo, alay-alay sa tuwina. Pagkisikap niya sa akin ay walang katantan. Pinipilit tigapang kumain lang ang buhay. Kaya pagsisikapang kumutakos upang sa inyo ay ibigay. Pinawang hinahangat na naisin taglay. Sa unang akong pagtapak sa lupa, gubay ko ikaw. Sa unang pagbigkas ko ng salita, hindi sa iyong labi lumitaw. Sa unang akong pagtakbo sa lupa, hindi ang linta ng masugata. Pagkat batid ko, ako ay iyong sasakulong. Aking mga mahal na magulang, maraming salamat po sapagkat hindi kayo nagkulang. Sa pagmamahal at taruga na ibinigay niyo ang buong buong, hindi lang sukli sa pagtanday ang alagaan kayo. Kayo ang dahilan ng aking bawat tagumpay. Kayo ang inspirasyon sa aking bawat paglalakbay. Nandun ko sa inyo at sa salamat na walang humpay. Naabuti ng pangarap para sa inyo ay iaalay. With love, pride, and honor, let us all sing our Isikat hymn. Let our young minds fully 
across the meaning of living as Christians in this world. Like the torch that we don't lose away, if we ever fall that we may rise again, guide us to a place where God wants us to be. He seek out each as the way. Giving back all the gratitude, praises, and glory. Here is Everett B. Marcos to lead us in the closing prayer. Let us bow our head and feel the presence of our Lord. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Lord, we thank you for this special day. We give you our deepest gratitude as you join us to celebrate our hard work of achievements. We are sincerely grateful because we were able to meaningfully accomplish an important stage in our studies amidst the pandemic that the world is facing right now. We give thanks to you, our loving God, for giving us a meaningful ceremony, for providing us teachers and parents who tirelessly guide us and prepare us for the next chapter of our lives and to all the people who have made this moment possible. Lord God, we humbly seek for forgiveness for all our sins and shortcomings that we may still be able to praise and serve you despite our failures and weaknesses. Almighty Father, give each of us the strength to overcome all the obstacles that we will face as we continue with our life's journey. We seek from you the endless support and strength for the completers as we journey into unknown futures. Bless and sustain us as we go forth called to serve our brethren in your mercy. We ask this in the name of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. As we offer this momentous occasion to our Lord Almighty, we, ourselves, also deserve the meaningful recognition. Let us continue the long ride with devotion and eagerness, but may we look back at where we started. Raise our head with the level as the clouds and always keep our feet on the ground. You are braver than you believe, so if failure comes to you someday, don't fall down. Keep your face to the light straight on the way to your success, just like what we did today, which at this time, another page slowly unfolds. I have been your master of ceremonies, Micaela Perez, saying that it is time to stand up and get on your way because you still have the biggest mountain to climb on. Thank you and congratulations on our well-deserved success!